Okay, so this chapter today is about translations. Um, you'll be excited to learn that we're revisiting vectors uh, from last chapter because a translation is, happens when each point of a figure moves along a translation vector. This means, you know what vectors mean, this means that our points are not only going to move the same distance as each other, but they also must move in the same direction. So instead of having to measure, like yesterday, measuring across a line, this time we're taking a point and I'm moving it along a specific vector. It's going to be a distance and a direction. So if I took my triangle, A, B, C, and I said I'm moving it along that vector, then I need to know that I need to move each point this direction and this distance. So I'm going to break out my ruler again. I'm going to measure this line I drew. Let's see, it's about seven and a half inches long, and I have to move in this direction. I don't have a protractor big enough to use on the board, but I'm going to estimate these being parallel. So I'm going to put seven and a half there. I'm going to take this parallel to that line also, and bring it out seven and a half. Then I'm going to move A, trying my best to keep it parallel, so we're going in the same direction, seven and a half. This is going to be our A prime, our B prime, and our C prime. We will connect our dots. And this is what our new figure looks translated seven and a half inches in this direction. That's what you should already know from pre-algebra is just how to do a basic translation, but now we're going to learn how to do it in the coordinate plane. Now what I know you'll enjoy <laughs> is because we're doing it in the coordinate plane, you need to remember back from last chapter how to write a vector in its component form. You'll remember it looked something like this. It will be an ordered pair with these here. Now what that represented is if I put my vector at the origin on a coordinate plane, that represents the endpoint of our vector. A, B. We're going to do basically the same thing as we did here on a coordinate plane but they're going to give us our component form of our vector, and we're going to have to add that to our other points. And I'll show you how we do that. First, we gotta draw our coordinate plane. And I'm gonna make us a triangle. our ABC. Now I'm going to say move this to the vector 4, 3. Here's our translation vector. So step one of this is going to be, here let me erase this so it's a little bit cleaner. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the ordered pairs of each of these points. So I'm going to find A, B, and C. 
A looks like negative 4 and positive 1. B looks like negative 3, positive 4. And C looks like negative 1, positive 1. Same as our other C from yesterday. Now because our vector is 4 and 3, I'm going, or is 4 comma 3, I'm going to add that vector to each of these points. So essentially, where I had negative 4 and 1, that's going to become negative 4 plus 4 comma 1 plus 3. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to do negative 3 plus 4 and 4 plus 3. Negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4 and 1 plus 3. We're going to simplify those so that we get our new points. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 1 plus 3 is 4. So 0, 4 is our A prime. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. 4 plus 3 is 7. So that's going to be our B prime. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3, and 1 plus 3 is 4. That's going to be our C prime. Now, to finish translating the triangle, all I have to do is graph our new points. So if our new C is at 3, 4, I'm going to go to 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to run out of... I need to make my graph taller. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got that written down. Our vector, we're moving it, is 4, 3. Let me make this a little taller. Okay, so our new C prime is 3, 4. Our new B prime is 1, 7. So we're going to go to 1. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh wow, I made it exactly the right height. That's going to be our B prime. And our A prime is 0, 4. So 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So here's our new triangle. We've taken our old triangle and translated it along the vector 4, 3.